Hey guys, happy Thursday. I am on my way home now. I just left work. I had a very busy day, although I didn't get as much done as I thought I should. There's like a, a, a problem with, you know, one payer has like a ton of accounts and I inherited a mess where they just have random accounts in there. They don't have any of them linked together or back to a single payer. And so anytime something needs updated or changed, um, you know, it takes a long time to find all of the accounts. So what I've been doing is working on fixing that issue and like making a parent account so that all the different facilities like link back to one parent good night. I have no idea how they got anything done with things this bad. I seriously should get paid more. And the funny thing is, I'm just amazed. Like when I follow up with companies and tell them they need to pay their bills, I get responses as simple as, um, just, I don't do this anymore. That's it. That's the whole response. And, I, and, I, and I'm like, really? You didn't think of taking the extra step and saying, but here's who does do this. Like, does this just not occur to people? Like, I know that, you know, you could wash your hands and say, this isn't my job. But if it once was and you didn't take the responsibility of passing it off, for, like, it's your responsibility. I, I don't know. And it would take two seconds more to say who the new person is. It's just amazing to me. And then the things like this, like and I, I inherited accounts and they're just in there all over the place and none of them are linked back to together. And I'm just supposed to go digging through a database, which is a global database and just find all these things and link them back together. And I cannot believe how people do their jobs. Like just things that would make it so much easier for the next person that take literally like one second more. It surprises me. But I'm very, I feel, you know, blessed. I'm going to clean it up. It's going to make me look good. Hopefully. Anyway, I was going to give you an update. I was going to work on tidying my house yesterday. I totally did not do it. I absolutely do have to, have to, have to do it today because I can usually dress like a bum. Well, not like a bum, but like, I don't have to dress well for work most days. I can just dress pretty business casual. But tomorrow I have a meeting with a bunch of uh, bosses that I've not met, like my boss's boss and stuff. So I have to go home, go through all my clothes, find out what fits me and what looks uh, professional. And I guess that's the motivation I need. I, I always wind up doing things that need to get done only because like I have to. Like there's a legitimate reason that I have to. So I'll pull all the clothes out of my closet and I'll put them in the center of my living room, I guess. And then I will just go through them. I have this really cute jacket that I bought at Maurice's and I, I really do like it, but it's a little bit boxy shaped. So I'm, I might not wear that. I might wear something else. I'll have to belt it. I don't know. But when you have large, a large, I'm trying to be polite here, a large chest, belting things can just make them look gigantic. Because then you can see how small your waist is. I don't know. I don't love it. Uh, anyway. I'm having a good skin day. I do love that. using this um, thing to clean my face that is like a spin spinning brush or whatever which it, it's amazing that my skin looks this good because I have struggled with it's called cystic acne my whole entire life which totally blows okay cystic acne is like really hard and it's really far under the surface like an iceberg and it hurts it like actually hurts and then it's like huge and red and um, there's not a whole lot to be done about it. Like other types of acne, some of them can easily be treated with different washes and things. When I was a kid, I used to have to go to the dermatologist and get my face like frozen with that liquid nitrogen or whatever. Like they'd spray my face with it and that would help clear it up a lot. And then I did Retin-A, which is like very 
but mine did like a very strong version of Retin-A. So my dilemma was I'd either have these really huge, ginormous pimples or I would, um, my face would peel off because the Retin-A was so strong, so strong that my face would literally like be peeling and flaking all the time. So like I'd use the Retin-A to get rid of the acne, then I'd just be using a ton, a ton, a ton, a ton of lotion and moisturizer and stuff. And uh, still, I'd be like flaky, so it was awful. Luckily, I've gotten older, and that so it's mostly gone away. But I would still have like little, like acne where my skin's just like not smooth. It's like it would be like bumpy, and it'd be especially around my chin, which apparently is from hormone. When it's around your chin, apparently it's hormonal. They say so. It's about getting your hormones balanced, and two, it's, I've heard people talk about dairy. Dairy can cause it, which totally sucks, because I love all dairy, I just do, which is probably terrible for me. I should do better, um, but go, go ahead, I'm trying to let you in, but if you're not going to go, I'm going to go around you. Okay, here I go. I slowed down. The guy didn't, like, we were all getting over. There was, like, a line of us, but the guy, like, I don't know if he chickened out or what. Uh, so I guess I'll go around him. Anyway, that's enough about my acne, but I, I was using one of those spin brushy things, and it's working great. Apparently, if you use one of those, what it does is, like, if you wash your face off with a washcloth, it uh, will get, like, surface dirt. But, like, one of those spin brushes, it gets, like, microscopic dirt, which is, like, down, deep down in your pore. And the great thing about that is it helps fight aging because apparently over time, you know, your your pores can store more and more dirt. They like stretch and, and apparently look larger as you age for that reason. So the more that you keep your face clean and the better you clean out your pores, the younger you look. And I'm having a great skin day today. So ta-da, proof is in the pudding. Uh, and I'm old, so I don't know, but I'm not young. I do these every day and they're probably, who knows, they're probably reaching two people ever and that's okay. Um, I used to love to journal but I realized that I'm not great at journaling because I'm super slow at writing and I have terrible handwriting. I'm, I'm left handed and so everything I write smudges. Uh, so I guess I'll think of these as like video journals so I'm hoping to put my the things that are consuming my mind, my hopes, and my dreams. Like, currently, I hope to uh, get braces. That's something that's been on my heart. And I got a pretty substantial check back uh, recently, but it'll only pay for about a third of the braces, which means I need to take uh, the other two thirds out of my savings. But I have been wanting braces. I wanted them last year, but instead of getting them, I went on my first mission trip, which I, I don't regret that at all. I was the most amazing thing I ever had done in my life. I met the coolest people in the world, um, and I made some great friends, and I, I seriously miss those kids. Like, it makes me think I would adopt, but I just don't think it's fair for me to adopt being a single woman, you know, because kids probably want a dad, so that's the only reason I don't consider it. Um, but, so I didn't get my braces last year because that was important to me. And then the year before I had my knee surgery. And then before that, uh, you know, I bought a house. And before that, it's like, it's always something. Or no, I bought a house and knee surgery. Before that, I went out of order. And then it's, it's just, it's always something. But so finally, I feel like I'm stable and always wanted them. I have such a crooked smile. I'm very fortunate, you know. I have all my teeth. I have a, a baby tooth still that has to be pulled and then the adult tooth is behind it. It's I guess it's called a shark bite because you have one tooth in front and one tooth behind. It's going to suck having a tooth pulled. I'm going to look like a real hillbilly while the other one, before the other one actually moves into place. So that's going to suck. But my teeth are already crooked enough that I look hillbilly anyway, so... Might as well get the thing out of there. I would love, 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 love 
it, the bummer part is my teeth are so bad because I grew up in, uh, um, you know, bad homes. I wasn't well taken care of as a child, and I, you know, was in foster care, and and the government doesn't cover braces for kids in foster care. Like I lived in an orphanage for a while, and they don't cover that. They just cover cover you know basic dental. Just if you have cavities or anything, they cover all that. Um, but it's a bummer. It it, it still stresses me out the fact that my smile's crooked and I and here's why there are a few things that will I like immediately 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 tell people whether you have like had a happy life or you're wealthy or you're poor and your smile is one of them I'm sorry but you, you can tell the difference like you can immediately spot like a drug use well you can most likely spot drug use, depend, you know, the loss of teeth. You can spot poverty in the fact that they'll be crooked, and you can spot wealth in the fact that they'll be perfectly, perfectly straight, symmetrical, white. That is a show of wealth. It is, it is. Um, and not that I'm, I'm, I'm not poor, I just prefer to spend my money to help other people. Um, so I, I am always like on the back burner. And, but I'm tired of my teeth telling the story of my my childhood before I tell people. I want my my current my smile to represent the woman that I am now. You know, I was fortunate to get out of that um, messed up life, and I have made something of myself, and I'm a career woman, and now I spend my time like trying to help other people get out. So I want my I don't want my smile to tell the story of my past. I'm gonna cry, <laughs> sorry. I want to look in the mirror and see a smile of the girl I'm becoming, if that makes any sense at all. And I know I'm not the only person who thinks about this, so I'm, <sighs> but I, again, I just can't because my insurance, my health insurance, I, and I work for a medical company, my health insurance covers zero, zero dollars of braces for me. Um, so I just have to pay for it outright. Like, I have to take the cash out of my account. And it makes me feel bad because I'm like, how many, like, how many people could I help? How many people could I help with that? I shouldn't spend it on that. I should wait till the next good cause. And, I don't know. It... Like even, I got a bonus this year, and I <laughs> I spent a significant portion on um, a, a couple causes that were very important to me, and then the other, I just tried to do, like beef up Christmas gifts for other people because I was, because normally they're very measly Christmas gifts, but this year I really tried super hard to, to do, do nice gifts. Um, just because I feel so blessed with everybody I have in my family, as I mentioned, and, and my friend group, as I mentioned, that's not always been something that's been available to me, so it just makes me happy to, like, make them happy. 